Hello everyone, Epigo is here to debunk a mystery that has been around in the iRacing community for quite a while. Last week, during the 12 hour of Sebring on iRacing, one of our drivers attempted to double stint the tires in the early afternoon of the race. During his second stint, the wear was becoming very bad and we were worried about possibly blowing the tires. After his second stint, the tire was at 14%. So. That got me wondering, what would have happened if the tire had hit 0%? So I did what everybody would have done, I googled it. Unfortunately for me, the only documented video I could find was 6 years old. In that video, when the tire hit 0%, part of it glitched through the track. Because iRacing has updated their tire model in the past 6 years, I had to find out by myself. All footage and data were collected on March 29th, 2022. For the car, I have chosen the Honda Civic Type R. Because it's a front-wheel drive car, it would be easier to wear the tires with understeer. For the track, I have chosen Suzuka International Racing Course East configuration. Because of its many medium speed corners, it's the perfect track for understeering. With that set, I went on the track. The result was a bit disappointing. I reached that 0%. But without the flag telling me to pit for repairs, I wouldn't even have realized it. There was no difference between 1% and 0%. The car was still drivable and going straight. Here's a grip comparison between fresh tires and 0% tires. I also took a screenshot of the tire at 100% and at 0% to see if there was any visual differences. As you can see, there is no difference. It is now proven that when a tire hits 0%, nothing happens. But is it really? My test so far was only for a specific car, which had Michelin tires fitted. From a brand perspective, I could understand why Michelin wouldn't want their tires to be blown. For a real overall verdict, I will need to test multiple cars, but that's for another video. Thank you guys for watching. Feel free to follow me on Instagram, where I post content about my karting debut and sim racing accomplishment. The link will be in the description. See you next time!